Hello everyone! It's Sunday in your place? I don't know. <laughs> it's our lesson once again. Okay, let's pray. Put your hands together, please. Thank you, dear Lord, for this time. Thank you, Lord. We have been studying about David. And thank you, God. We have been learning a, a lot from the life of David. Continue to guide us. Father, give us wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Oh, I have been so excited about David. David and King Saul. King Saul has been uh, on the run for David. Oh, because he wants to kill David. He was jealous of David now. All right, now our lesson for today is about David and Nabal. All right. Oh, what is this? Now Samuel died. Oh, and all the Israelites gathered. And of course, they were just so sad. So, Samuel died already and they buried him at his house in Ramah. Okay, now, there was a very rich man in the name of Nabal. David moved to the wilderness of Moan. And there, Maon, sorry. And there was a wealthy man from Maon named Nabal, who owned a property there in the town of Carmel. All right. Mm, he was so rich. Good. Nabal was so rich. He had 3,000 sheep and 1,000 goats. And it was sheep shearing time. Again, sheep shearing time. What, what do you mean by that? When we mean sheep shearing them, they have to take out the uh, wool of the animals. Okay. Oh, look at his wife. She's so beautiful. Nabal's wife was Abigail. Mm, repeat after me. Abigail. Abigail. A sensible and beautiful woman. But Nabal, a descendant of Caleb, was rude. Mm, he was rude and mean in all his dealings all right one day david and his men remember david has been traveling with all his men he has been um uh, accompanied by his men what were the works of david and his men they were defending the people remember in the town of kayla what did they do hmm? yes they defended the people there because the there were stealers there were those they're thieves there were thieves and they want to stay steal the grain now david and his men has been protecting the flocks they have been protecting the grains so that was there that were their work one day okay nabal was in carmel and ten men of david had a message for nabal what was that look let's read this was the message of David. So he sent his ten men to uh, give a, a message for Nabal. What was that? I hope that you and your family are healthy and that all is going well with you. When your shepherds were with us in Carmel, we didn't harm them. Mm, and nothing was ever stolen. All right. David was telling Nabal, I hope that all is well with you. So he has a message. And the ten men carried that message and talked to him. And he was telling that when your shepherds, when your men were with us, we've never hurt them. We've never abandoned them. But we protected them. Ask your shepherds and they'll tell you the same thing. Mm, that was the message of David. My servants are your servants and you are like a father to me. This is a day for celebrating. Please be kind and share some of your food with us. Oh, what was David asking from Nabal? Food. The, David was asking for food to feed his men, to feed um, the men that are with him, that were with him. All right. David, David's men went to Nabal and told the message to him. Oh, what was the reaction of Nabal? Look, who does this David think he is? Oh, he doesn't like the message of David. And he was telling, Kitsa, maninga David, na anak ni Jesse. Mm. 
that son of Jesse is just a mere slave. Oh, on the run from his master. And there are too many of them. These days, what makes you think I would take my bread, my water, and the meat that I had cooked from my own service and give it to you? Oh, mm -mm. the message was not good Nabal told the messengers of David who is this David I will not share the, the things that I have to him is it true that he is really sending it to me <gasps> mm -mm, mm -mm. remember David and his men they were protecting the flocks they were protecting the shepherds so that no one can steal no one can the thieves cannot get their flocks so David and his men were just good people. They were protectors during that time. All right. Mm -mm. Of course, the men returned to David and they said what Nabal told them. <gasps> what was the reaction of David? Everybody, get your swords. <gasps> David told his men, get ready, get your swords. Oh, what will they do? They all strapped on their swords. Two hundred men stayed behind to guard the camp, but the other four hundred followed David. Oh, David and his men will be on attack. <laughs> all right. Oh, meanwhile, the servant of Nabal told Abigail what happened. Of course, the servant was so scared. He told Abigail what happened. You know what? David and his men did like this. He, they were asking for food from Nabal, but Nabal uh, was just so angry and he did not give any food to them. And now David and his men is planning something. <gasps> oh no. And look what the servant said. David's men were often nearby. While we were taking care of the ship in the fields, they were very good to us. Oh, look at the servant. The servants report to Abigail. Indeed, it's true that David and his men were very good. They were protecting them when they were caring for the ship. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So what will Abigail do? All right. David sent some messengers from the desert to wish our masters well. That was the report. Still reporting, but he shouted insults at them. So he was telling Abigail, this is what Nabal did. He insulted the man of David. Isn't there something you can do? Uh-oh. So the servant was telling Abigail, isn't something, please do something. <laughs> he was scared because David and his men and his troops will gonna attack Nabal's men. Mm -mm. Or else our master and his family and everyone who works for him are all doomed. Uh oh. He was so scared. The servant is so scared. Why? David was so angry that in spite of him and his men protecting Nabal's property, all the flocks, all the sheep, he did not share the food to David and his men. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, so what happened? What happened? Abigail wasted no time. She quickly gathered 200 loaves of bread, two wineskins full of wine, five sheep that been slaughtered and nearly bushels of roasted grain, 100 clusters of raisins and 200 fig cakes. So they will, I mean, sorry for my laway. <laughs> Abigail has to prepare because of what she heard from the servant. She packed them on donkeys and said to her servants, go ahead, I will follow you shortly. So Abigail has to prepare all these things and, and, and she has to give this to David and his troops in order to David not to pursue or not to do what he is planning. All right. Oh, look. As she was riding his donkey, her donkey, I should say, into a mountain ravine, she saw David and his men coming towards her. Oh, isn't it David was so angry and he really wants to kill everybody because he was just asking for food for his men. 
that Nabal doesn't like to give. Mm, this rude Nabal. David has just been saying a lot of good it did to help this fellow. Mm, we protected his flocks in the wilderness and nothing he owned was lost or stolen. But he repaid me evil for good. Oh, well, David saw Abigail. David was telling Abigail, you know, I've never done wrong to Nabal. I protected everything that he owns. I was just asking for food. But instead of giving me, he did not give me anything. He even insulted me. He rejected my message. Oh, may God strike me and kill me even if even one of of his household is still alive tomorrow morning david will really kill everybody because he was just so angry imagine he david was uh, with 400 men with him all right oh look at abigail when abigail saw david she quickly got off her donkey and bowed low before David. And she fell at his feet and said, I accept the blame. Oh, she was speaking in behalf of her husband. I accept all the blame in this matter, my Lord. Please listen to what I have to say. Oh. Here comes the wife Abigail and she was pleading, she was asking for forgiveness and she was pleading for David not to continue what he is planning. Mm, I know the ball is wicked, she said, and an ill-tempered man. Please don't pay any attention to him. He is a fool just as his name suggests. So in other words, Abigail was telling David, please my lord. Forgive me. If he's telling in behalf of, of, of my husband, please, um, I know he is wicked. He is an ill-tempered man. Please don't uh, pursue. Don't go what you are planning. Don't continue what you are planning. Oh, look at that, the wife. And here is a present or a gift that I, your servant, have brought to you and your young man. So, Abigail started to give all the things that she prepared. Please forgive me. I have offended you in if I have offended you in any way. And the Lord will surely reward you. Oh, and you have not done wrong throughout your entire life. Okay. What was the reaction of David? David replied to Abigail, Praise the Lord the God of Israel who has sent you to meet me. Thank God for your good sense. Bless you for keeping me from murder and from carrying out vengeance with my own hands. What did she say? For I swear by the Lord, the God of Israel who has kept me from hurting you, that if you had not hurried out to meet me, not one of Nabal's men would still be alive tomorrow morning. David was so undecided to kill everyone, to kill Nabal's men, because he was so angry. But praise God for his wife. Abigail saved his, her husband. Huh? <laughs> he, she saved her husband because she pleaded for David. Then David accepted her gifts and told her, Return home in peace. I have heard what you said. We will not kill your husband. There's a very good wife who had saved her husband. All right. Remember, Abigail, I mean, the husband Nabal doesn't know that Abigail went to David, prepared so many things for David just to save him. Mm -mm. Now, when Abigail went home, look, when she arrived, she found out that Nabal was throwing a party and was celebrating like a king and he was so drunk oh and so she did not tell him what happened all right the next day look there you go 
the next day in the morning, Nabal was sober. So his wife told him what had happened. As a result, mm, and then Abigail started to tell him, to tell Nabal what happened. Uh, he, she had given gifts to David because uh, if, if she will not, uh, this will happen. David is, uh, uh, will do what he is planning, that is to kill Nabal and all his men. And what happened to Nabal? <gasps> As a result, Nabal had a stroke. Mm -mm. And he lay paralyzed. Oh, and on his bed like a stone. Mm -mm. And look, about ten days later, the Lord struck him. Mm -hmm. And he died. Oh, it only shows that even God himself was not placed on the actions of Nabal. Remember, the Lord struck him and he died. Uh-oh. All right. So when David learned what happened to Nabal, what was his reaction? Mm, he was telling that at least he did not die in my hands. It was God who struck him. All right. Now, Nabal has received the punishment for his sin. Now, David sent messengers to Abigail and asked her to be his wife. Oh, and what was the reaction of Abigail? Oh, when the messengers arrived at Carmel, they told Abigail about that. And David has sent us to take you back to marry him. What was the reaction of Abigail? Mm, here she said, I would gladly uh, be a wife of David. What did she say? I would even be willing to become, sorry, a slave washing the feet of my servant. So David married Ahinoam. David's first wife, Michal. Remember Michal, the first wife of David? The daughter of King Saul has married someone else. So David now has a wife, Abigail and Ahinoam. Oh, all right. Did you like the story? Oh, I like the story. Let's see who was Nabal. Mm, Nabal was rich, but he was rude. He was mean. He was selfish. How will you describe him? Mm, he said, who is this David? How do you describe him? Yes, ungrateful, rude, selfish. Remember, David has been protecting him. He was protecting all his flocks, all his servants, all his shepherds. And David was just asking for food. He doesn't like to give. Mm, but Nabal. <gasps> what about Abigail? Oh, Abigail was just so beautiful inside out. He was humble. He could have, she could have been telling, oh, let's just fight, go and fight David. But she did not say that. What did she do? She prepared something. She prepared so many things for David in order for David not to continue to work. Hmm, very good Abigail. She was beautiful. She was humble. She has wisdom. She doesn't like fights. She doesn't like war. She, she bowed down to David and she was asking for forgiveness even if she was not the one who was, uh, who was in um, Moses. Uh, but she was doing that for her husband. She bowed down and she said to David, please forgive me. And in behalf of my husband, please accept my gifts. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful Abigail inside out. All right. What will you do when people do something good to you? If your classmates are good to you, what is your reply or what is your reaction? Um, should be your action. Mm, you should be good as well. Diba? Even your classmates are not good to you, you should be good to them. Be good even though they are not good. Share even they don't share. Be um, a giver, not a selfish uh, man or woman. Hmm? Don't be like Nabal. She was rich. He was rich. But he was rude. He was ungrateful. Hmm? Have a heart of a giver. Have a heart of a... Have a thankful heart. David has been good to Nabal. David has been protecting the properties of Nabal. And just for 
and just David was just asking for a food for his people and for him but he did not share oh share what you have mm, if you have ice cream share <laughs> if you have food you share it's good to share God loves a cheerful giver the Bible says hmm? what did God do to Nabal he struck him after 10 days the Bible said Mm. Even God himself was not pleased with Nabal. Mm. David and Nabal. I like this story. It reminds me that we should be grateful. That we should um, we should be paying those people who... I mean, not paying, but we should be doing good to those people who have done good to us. And even though they will not do good to us, we should still be good. Because why? Because our God is good. Amen? Amen? Did you learn something? Oh, praise God. All right. Sive, I've um, seen your video. Thank you for memorizing the verse. What about the others? Mm, you should be memorizing the verses, okay? Okay, okay. So let's pray. Let's close in prayer. Thank you, dear Lord, for this time once again. Thank you so much that we have learned about the life of David and Nabal. Thank you, Lord, that um, we have learned how to be a giver, how we have to have a thankful heart. And we have learned there, Lord, that um, we should also always be humble. Thank you so much for your goodness there, Lord, in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, do this. KK, everybody, everybody, put your hands like this. KK, let's go.